Well, hey guys, and welcome to another episode in our Barney family YouTube and Facebook. And of course, guys, we're just out in the, the 900 Fireblade today. And I'm quite convinced that this uh, stretch of road that we're about to take is the best um, motorbike route in Murray. Of course, Murray is a ditch district of Scotland, it's a Grampian region. I'm sure there's some greater roads out in Grampian, some I think this is the one, you know. But guys, you know, we basically just want to the dog downs and all that sort of stuff. We've been more doing sort of car vlogs with the Land Rover, uh, you know, the Land Rover and stuff like that. So we never got back into that sort of regular motorbike vlogging yet. The summer's returning here in Scotland, guys, so this is uh, we're going to hit it. And I'm hopefully going to take you out to what I think is the best road in Murray for motorbike. Right, so guys, let's hit it. Yes, yeah, so this road, guys, is called the Mulben Road. And it's on the back road, I'll shut the visor actually. It's on the back road to a place called Keith, which is just a, an amazing road. We've got two or three quite long straights, guys, so I'm not going to film the straights themselves. It's such, it's more sort of the corridor and the stuff. And this is basically heading out of uh, the south side of Elgin now. So let's hit it. Oh, we'd see this corner down here, guys. This is tight. This is tight. We'd see this. How nice is this time we go? Feed in the power. Nice corner here. And we'll just step off the bike a little bit for that corner. And this is really tricky up here. And it's just because of that blind summit, just as you come up over, as you can see. Don't know what's on the other side. Yeah, this is what the fireplace is built for though. Ah, the little jump kick coming up. If you didn't know the road, this could catch you out. Yeah, that's almost in a straight stop, really. Just because the road's off that right there. You only got a look at it about there. A lovely hump just coming up over here. Time to go. This one here is pretty tricky as well, guys. If a tractor comes down here, you know, you've got no chance. You'll have a tiny bit of the road, but up we go. Yeah. Light going quick, guys, but don't like this to my Not when you're a daddy. And again, you really need to know the road, guys. Slow down with the gear. But we should be okay. Oh, there's like a quick loop behind. There's a car coming, you see? Yeah, it was a nice dry day, guys. But, see, when you come up to this east corner here, it could be wet. Because you're going to go up and under the trees. Yeah, take it easy. You see what I mean? It could have been wet under here. It's already dirty. You don't want to accelerate too hard. Oh, and these are the corners. Oh, that car on it as well. Right. Okay, down, 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 down. And this corner, I tend to go sort of the outside of this corner, you know, when I'm doing it properly. Yeah, guys, really, when it comes to overtaking cars and stuff, I try to try and take it as easy as I can, you know. Because uh, it's easy to give someone a scare. Especially when your bike is loud as this, you know. They're kind of spoiling the corners here, look. Right? So there's this lovely corner coming down into here. And then when I cross this tiny little bridge, you get a bit of a bump. 
So then you swing over to the other side of the bike, obviously. And up we go. Another lovely set of S-Bends up here, guys. But I'll tell you, you've seen nothing yet. This road is awesome. And we'll just mince this car and we'll get out the corner. A bit of an S-Bend here, up and right. We are doing like uh, 38 miles an hour. And again, I don't want to blast past them, guys. I've got our blind sun out here, so I can't quite see just yet. This time we're going to go right out to Keith. But okay, then watch out. I always wanted that house right there, guys. Look at it. Wee old house. Very nice. And now we start going into some of the really great corners of this road. Now look at this. Now you're going to really think about it, but it just it's like a really smooth corner and look. It's really nice. Really, really nice. So as per usual guys with the bike, you tend to change the gear before you get into the corner. Let the engine brake and slow you down. And then feed in the power again. much in the motorbike this year so I'm actually just getting back used to the bike. You know you never want to be too cocky until you warm right up you know. See the flowing corner of your guys. We'll just knock down at the fifth for here. Corners just flow and then we'll hit a really tight S bend. And again I've got no long room but it's hard to look at them. <laughs> so I'll hand back a little bit just to show you the just to show you the corner with it wand over there. Yeah, so you can kind of come down here, I can to come right out. You hit down the gears and three you normally can see who's coming. They just pull it a little bit more around, come in nice and tight. And look at this Spain Valley guys, I mean look at it. Isn't it just gorgeous? We're going to miss the Landover. There's always gravel in this corner here. You just can't 
put the power down too quickly. So this is beautiful, we're going to go up over it. Wait till you see this bit. Start going down the gears. Because this bit down here is a pure 90 loop. They're hopefully able to see us going up. Hopefully able to see us going up now, guys. Look, this is very steep. Very, very steep indeed. All right, we'll go again. We'll have to get down with the second for this one. Nice and tight for the, tight for the wall, Link. Hit the bar just as we come up by. Very tricky, that. Yeah, the one thing about the war case for the knee to look like is chapter. Chapter is on the fourth bit lorry. I'm not going to really talk yet, just be careful. Let's we'll sit by the fist to come around here. The this is a beautiful bit, guys. Way DC. Up at the six now. Both down at the fourth. Leave it a front break. Look at that, eh? Isn't that nice? Oh, it's back on the road right there, look at that. Lovely jam, you got a lovely heat coming up over here. There we go. Now there's a few houses down here, guys, so go down. Hopefully cars do all right. And you never know if there's titties kind of knocking around, you know, so... We'll keep an eye out for any of that. Tits could be in the sea anyway, so... But you don't assume that. It's been a nice night here, eh? There we go, first of all, right hand at night. Which are going to take it much quicker, aren't you? That was a bit lazy. Down go left left. It is very tight this bit. The fuel of bike kind of sliding around a little bit. Yes, yeah, so this is all bad. You don't have to slow down for this, but always do. And like I said, here's a big lorry now. What do you think guys? Is that a tractor as well? Or a few lorries? <coughs> Because you get such a blow up wind. So much so it really hits you. Just at the back of the lorry, which you can feel it. So I'll leave it. Ah, I got a real one there. And it's just the dirty here behind the behind the, the lorry, you know? Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, just 
Just 15 minutes, I don't know. Find out shortly. Yes, Keith Sutton on the way to Aberdeen. Some of you might have heard of Aberdeen. But that's where we are just now, guys. I don't think I'll whip in through Keith though, guys. I think we'll just head off back home, actually. That'll be cool. But listen, guys, for now, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the, the vlog out here as much as I enjoyed driving it. I'm going to do the return journey now, film that as well. Let the bike speed it up, the tires are good and the brakes are hot, you know, we should visit that a little bit quicker and uh, have, some, have some good fun. You see that, look? This clips, uh, spider webs, cobwebs. Uh, anyway, so thanks again, you guys.